welcome to my studio. Come on in. This is a watercolor I've been working on. I'm calling it Dirty Bartini. And uh, I have my tablet here where I refer to my reference all during the painting process. I've also been making a video with the overhead camera. I'm going to show you a couple little tiny clips of my painting process just to give you an idea how the painting comes along and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I don't want to get my grade color especially there and here. I don't want to get this gray, grayer color that I put on in this area. So I'm just like reminding myself. It's like, okay, if you want this to be a clean, bright yellow, put it on now, and then you know their color's there, and, you know, it helps give you a base. All right. See already got the bullseye? The um, puddle, I just created a puddle there. I don't want to leave that. I want it evenly wet. So I'll pull that water right off. And at this point, as my paper starts to set up, I have to watch my edges. I don't want to be sitting in a puddle because as the paper dries, you know, it sucks that puddle in. And then we have those problems. Find the edge, pull that off. There's a little something. So let's see, this is going to come here and then we're just going to kind of shake it along. La -da 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 -da. That's all little words, 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 like that. And then just hit it above it. There's something. Those are little words. Da -da 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 -da. Here, there's a little highlight right here, so I can come around it with this other gray wash. Just come around it like that. Make some of the marks that I see. And I can just leave it on there for a couple seconds and then blot it off and I've stained the paper and I've also like created that highlight just by not painting that part of the paper. Too dark, too much, it bled too much. So I'm going to come back with a clean damp brush and I'm just going to brush a little water up into here and pull some of my light back while it's still damp. I think that's about enough. I'm going to paint the rim separately. There's more going on in the rim. I'm going to put a little more of a dark in here. And I also see on the edge here where there's a, a reflection of these olives in this edge right here. Just a little bit of color right here. Like I say, I've saved my... Um, highlights. I even have a little mask in the water uh, around this olive so that because that was a, a real white part of our our, our alcohol bath there. <laughs> the little alcohol bath that they're taking. I'm going to put a little more yellow in here, right into my brush. And this is going to curve. Let's see, so it's going to kind of curve like this and come in and go back out. And that is a hard edge there. I'm cleaning my brush slightly, going into some of these watery grays. And then I'm going to come through here. Now there's more. Um, there's more little lights and things going on than I have in here, and I don't care. Like, you don't have to have every little smidgen. 
to make it look realistic. There, that's getting um, pretty close to what I see. I'm just going to put it in kind of like this and then maybe add a little pink to parts of it to show the duller color. Try to make it easy as easy as possible, like simplify all this. I guess that's what we're doing a lot in here. We're simplifying what we see to make it paintable and, you know, so that it's not so tedious that we don't want to do it. It um, yellowed them up a little bit too because I thought I'd had them too, uh, well, not yellow enough, <laughs> too cool or something. Okay, um, I just got to do a few of these and then I think I'm ready for a final uh, picture, but I'm pretty happy with it.